Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Adam. Uh, I started up a new character already. Um, I'm not sure most of these bonuses here will do much for us. I mean, plus 10 to speed is awesome. Everything else, though, yeah, I don't know. Not really. I, I don't think I ever really used the companion system. I guess you can, like, befriend enemies or, I don't know tame animals, that kind of thing. I don't know if any character can do that. I think there's a Beastmaster who's probably um, better at that. Anyway. Um, yes, I am going to choose a specific character type, of course. I'm, uh, I want to give the Mist Elf Archer at least one more try. Oh wow, we're in, in a bit older this time around. 8,499 8, years old. Uh, yeah, randomly. Those questions did not help me at all the one time I tried it. And it just takes a long time. So... I mean, now I have a very good uh, speed bonus to begin with. I also get three talents again. Or is that determined by class and character, uh, class and class and race and not not your stats? Maybe I'm I'm not sure. I think I think I might have gotten only two talents once for the same character, but maybe not. Mm, might might actually be racial. Uh, so anyway, am I going to go for two-handed weapons? Oh wait, not two-handed weapons. What am I saying? Two-weapon fighting, if anything. Yeah, ambidextrous. Oh, I think I might have accidentally picked two-handed weapons at at one point. If so, well, good job me. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go with ambidextrous and bows. And then, I don't know, I'm gonna pick healthy at one point. Early on, though, I feel like it doesn't do much with your extremely low hit points. I could go for extra strength, because my character is lacking a bit in strength. That will, that will not only make me hit harder, but also... Mm. It also give me a bit more carrying capacity. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go with strong, I guess. Although, I don't know, man. It's tough. Uh, or I can go with quick, actually. If I could see where it is. There it is, D. Yeah. Let's build on our strength. Our strengths and um, be even quicker. So we're attentive once again. Let's actually check out the stats. 14 strength, yeah, that's not a whole lot. 16 learning, also not a lot. So we definitely only have four skill ups. Uh, wisdom dex is okay, I guess. Toughness nine. Magic is is high, of course, which we're not going to use. I mean, I guess we could if I find skill uh, any spell books. Spell books. I've never really really uh, played any spell casting character really focused on that. Anyway, um, and perception. Not personality, as I think I said in one of the earlier episodes. Oh well. Um, yeah, perception. I don't know how that helps. What does what that does for me? Is that uh, like vision range or something? I don't know. We have a pretty good elven chainmail this time around. A light cloak. Um, a sword without any hit bonuses. That's fine. But wow, very, very so wow, that that dagger. Very solid damage bonuses, especially on that one. Uh, light boots that don't do anything at all. Short bow plus one, six mithril arrows. Okay, well, that's something to work with. And as usual, nothing much in terms of inventory. Now, I think I want to... Well, um, what I was trying last time, trying to... Uh, speed run the uh, the puppy quest just you know just for fun didn't really work out so well I guess it turned out that cave is a bit tougher than this one so maybe I should a small key um, okay not a specific uh, specifically shaped key interesting I don't I'm not sure what that would be good for then anyway um, yeah this, this cave is definitely easier, so I should... Yes? Okay. I'm critically wounded. 
Okay, I mean, that was a lucky hit on their part. Right. Uh, a rock. Uh, sure, let's grab that. What was that? Healing went up by three. Okay, cool, I guess. Um... What are you? Some kind of dog. A rabbit dog. So what was I trying to say? Yeah, I'm going to try and make a few levels here before I tackle the puppy cave quest. Several items, such as a wooden shield that I could actually use. Hmm. Should I... I mean, my dagger is so good, though. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up just to have one. Also, those boots could be good. They could also be made of impure metal, but they should be quick enough to take off, right? And before I die right away. No, I mean they're they're called light boots, just like the ones I had, and they're ex actually ex exactly the same. Um, yeah, let's drop those. I guess I might as well put on the shield just to see what it is like. Um, wooden shield. Three dodge and one protection. Not too shabby, I guess. I mean, I can just keep that on hand in case I, um, I feel like being able to block. Although, I mean, if I don't use it, I will have no blocking skill. I don't know how much it's really going to help without any proficiency. Oh well. Um, you don't feel like attacking me? Okay. Too bad for you. Um, okay, they're fighting. There we go. So yeah, I'm... I don't know. I think I'm gonna try and make a level or two, or maybe two levels or three, before I start on the puppy cave. I mean, I'm going to gain a few levels there, unless I run into, uh, like, the ants again that I can't even damage at all. Sling. Uh, I mean, I want to focus on one kind of ranged weapon, and I already picked bow proficiency. And I'm a freaking elf, so using a bow seems like the only correct choice. The only thing that might be stopping me, as usual, is a lack of actual arrows. Scroll. It's a good start. Level 2. There we go. Yeah, four skills. That's expected. I mean, uh, athletics, for sure. Um, I could... Well, okay. So the only ones that are really priority are alertness, somewhat, archery, sure, although maybe I'll wait until I actually have some arrows. Uh, athletics, definitely, for the chance of um, physical attribute increases. Climbing, eh, I don't know. I guess it, it helps you get out of pit traps faster, but it doesn't seem like a priority. Concentration, I'm not planning to do much spellcasting, so no. Dodge is helpful, for sure. Uh, first aid and healing, both good. Food preservation, helpful, but not super super uh, prioritized. Haggling, eh, I guess it's it's not a priority. Herbalism, I don't, I don't even know what that does, honestly. Uh, I can't imagine it's going to do much for me. Listening, I've never really understood um, how how that is very helpful. Literacy? Uh, sure. I mean, we start out at decent literacy, so I, I feel less pressure to, uh, to increase that. Mm, obviously, failing to read a, to read a scroll in, uh, in a dicey situation can be bad, but yeah, it's, it's already pretty high, and obviously at this point we can't even have it grow much more. Necromancy? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Stealth? 
Uh, also already pretty good. Uh, same with survival. Swimming, definitely definitely something I should look into. Um, and obviously my main way of killing things right now, two-weapon combat. I might even put another point in there for an eight, up to an eight-point increase. Sure. Because as we have seen, um, certain enemies like ants are almost impossible to damage. Although with a with my very nice uh, plus damage modifier on the on both of my weapons, especially the dagger, that might not be as much of a problem this time around. Anyway, what are we gonna do? I guess I can go for hmm. I guess I'm gonna work on healing. That's relatively low. Yeah, that's that was a decent increase. Oh, and I immediately missed a rat. That's fine. Giant red corpse uh, should be okay to eat. I think. Yeah, tasty. Yeah. Hello. You guys trying to get somewhere? A long direction. Yes. Um. Okay. I took one damage, and that's that's that. Okay. There. Oh. Well. I was gonna say there is definitely more to this floor, and indeed there is. A path I hadn't taken yet. Oh, you're friendly for some reason. You're not. Okay, a red corpse. Did they kill their friend there? Is that what happened? I found, oh, so n giant rats are fine, normal rats are not. Okay. Or maybe that one was. Maybe that one was um, cursed? I don't know. So it looks like... Oh, hello dog. Um, looks like there's more to this floor. Hmm. This southeastern corner does seem a bit empty. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Sling. I guess I'm gonna quickly check this corridor, but... I don't know. Can there ever be... Can there ever be um, secret doors going off of a corridor? Maybe? I feel like that's not usually the case, though, so maybe I should only check rooms. Uh, let's see, more athletics, even though the growth isn't great. I guess I can put a point into archery in preparation. Mm. Five more points in two weapon combat. Uh, yeah, sure. And some dodging. Yeah. Okay. Suppose I could go for some sort of affinity, or I could actually do what I usually do and go very quick. We're actually very quick. My will seems inflexible. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Hmm. Oh, and I'm getting hungry. Clean robe. Um, meh. Large bat corpse. That's uh, perfect. Right on cue. Yeah. Heap of bones. I think you can eat bones. Funnily enough. Yeah, crispy. Okay, right. Oh, so I guess I'm gonna check here. I guess I, there could potentially be a door. Several items. Sling and two arrows, hey! Uh, in fact, I am going to check those arrows. I mean, chances are they're going to break immediately, but... Out of ammo. Uh, no? Yes. And you're right up next to me. That's fine. Hey, an arrow of darkness. Wow. I, I don't know what that does. But, I don't know, maybe it blinds enemies? Hmm. A whip and a... Goblin Slave Master Corpse. Uh, I mean, I think goblins are fine to eat. Does not sit well with me, but 
It's not poisonous. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, it seems like usually when there is a secret door, you find it pretty quickly. So, I don't know, maybe there just wasn't more to that previous level, even though it seemed a bit empty. A bit small. Heap of rocks. Uh, yeah, I guess. Several items, like a bone amulet. Um, I mean, at least it's not metal, so it, I could technically use it. Because I'm going to eat some more bones. Not sure if they're filling at all. I mean, they shouldn't be. Uh, I don't have the appropriate key, really. Does not seem to fit, yeah. That's what I thought. Well then. Okay. Nice. So that blew up my cloak. Thankfully only the cloak. But that's what you want alertness for. Basically. Alright, well, there's definitely more to this floor. And there we are. Come this way, please. Or not. A lot of ammo. Um, yeah, I guess. What's, what was this one then? Oh, just a regular arrow. Well, I guess I can keep using that. A light cloak. Well, that's perfect. Perfect timing. Oh, plus one, minus one. Hmm, so plus one to hit, minus one to damage, though. I guess, uh, ultimately it gives me two bonuses and only one negative. And my damage modifiers are pretty good, so I guess I'm going to go with it, unless it seems like I'm, I have trouble killing things. I could put on the amulet, although chances are it's bad. Yeah, and I don't even know what it does. You know... One of these might be identify. Oh, I couldn't read it. Well, okay, that was a scroll of light then. Um, really, that was a huh? Red light. Wait, oh, oh, that's a. I thought red light meant cursed weapon, but no, it's uh, it's enchant weapon. Wow, that's actually perfect. Thanks. That helps a lot. More rocks. Should identify the ones I have. Oh, whoops. <laughs> so how did I not realize I was standing uh, right in front of the... Uh, oh, search. Um, right in front of the wall already. Anyway, um, missiles. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna... Oh, those rocks were automatically combined. Huh. Weird. So... The game does keep, tr or I mean, obviously the game knows what uh, unidentified items are, but I thought so long as your character doesn't know, even if they are the same, they will not be combined until you um, you actually manage to identify them by using them, for example. But apparently that's not how it works. Oh, I thought I had seen seen that happen before, where the exact same items would just not combine into a single stack. Anyway. Um, I'm going to use my normal arrow. I mean, arrow of darkness sounds cool, but it's only a single one, so what good it is, is it going to do me? Uh, you know what? No. I'm going to do some rock throwing. It's not going to help with my bow skill, but I like doing it. And it does do significant amounts of damage, actually. Or a surprising amount of damage. Okay, we got a little bit more of this level to explore. Uh, why don't we? Oh, okay, I keep overestimating the distance you can actually throw rocks. Um, well, wow, athletics actually has huge growth rates, and we managed to max it out. That's awesome. 
Um, I could go for some more archery. That's okay. Two weapon combat. Uh, yeah, that's that's also pretty nice. And more healing. More dodging? Dodging or healing? Or first aid? Actually, first aid is super low. We could get up to 20 points. Good roll, please. Well, 15. Not bad. That helps with uh, getting rid of poison, I think. Also, my health increased. I mean, that's... Oh, yeah, toughness increased, actually. Which might be due to the... Um... Might be due to the um, the athletic skill we have. Although, we did gain willpower. Or wisdom, I think. Um, on one, on our first level up. Okay, nice. And I don't think that's uh, that should count as a physical attribute. So, I guess stats just have a chance to go up. Randomly. I don't know. Man, there are so many little details I don't know about this game. Oh yeah, okay. Well, just um, I'm blinded by the flash. I'm stunned. Okay, I didn't take any damage though. Okay, well then. Oh, okay. The orange just just gone now. And that was actually the bottom level. Oh, I didn't realize. Wait, is it? Is it really though? Gauntlets. Um, I mean, they're probably metal, so... Hmm. Oh, what? They sure did appear out of nowhere. Where red? I don't know where red came from, but it was there. Another wooden shield. Uh, a whip. I guess I might as well pick it up, since I am... Probably going to leave this dungeon soon. Yeah, I don't know. There just doesn't seem to be much of anything here. A spear. Well, could go for a corpse sometime soon, so I don't have to use one of my rations. Um. I mean, what is this? Is it worth picking up? Clean robe, I guess. Another robe, sure. A whip, uh, yes. Pick up everything. Um, like light boots? I mean, they're probably worth literally nothing, but. Uh, clothes? I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm gonna. Eat some bones. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't help with my hunger at all. Predictably. I mean, I assume they give a very, very minor amount of nutrition. Is there actually a hidden door here? Hmm, there might not be. That's actually... Well, should have looked at the map before. Uh, okay, I'm getting really hungry now. I guess I'm going to use up the large ration just to free up more inventory. Oh, nice. A potion. A studded leather armor. Uh, yes, please. And I'm burdened. That's fine. Right, and that brings us to the main map. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really sell anything here, but I can. Hmm, I also don't know what this bone amulet is doing. It might be bad. Let's see here. I could check the. Um, I should definitely check that other shield I found to make sure I keep the better one. Uh, actually, the sandals might be better than my light boots, ironically enough. Uh, they're not. And they're cursed, too. Wonderful. Well, at least they're not any worse than what I was using before. 
I guess I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah. Crest Sandals, wonderful. I guess I'm gonna put on the Gauntlets, even though they're probably going to damage me. Gauntlets minus one. Minus one to hit, plus one armor. Not worth it. They also didn't burn me immediately, so I guess they're not for metal. It's, I, I really wish that the game would just tell you this item is going to damage you, you know, because it would make sense that my character would know it even before trying to actually equip it. But oh well. Um, we found some armor. Uh, I mean, none of these are metal, so they're not going to kill me. Of course, if any of them are cursed, that's probably going to be worse than what I was using before. So I'm going to start with the one that's more most likely to to be actually okay. Uh, start leather armor, minus one hit, minus one dodge, plus three armor. Yeah, no. Normal leather armor is actually as good as my mithril armor, but not as heavy, I suppose. Um, actually, what? Elven chainmail is only is only ten stones. Okay, never mind. That's amazing. That's wow. It's basically made made of, made of air then. Okay, appearance plus two. Okay, I suppose I could put that on to before I start selling stuff. Regular robe plus one. Well, uh, nothing beats my Elven Chainmail then. Didn't even realize. Well, yeah, that basically weighs nothing at all. Same with my my weapons. They're extremely lightweight. Uh, right, the wooden shield. So, left hand, wooden shield. Uh, three one, three dodge, one armor. Is that the same? Uh, God, where is it? Oh yeah, it's exactly the same. Right, we have some whips. Da, 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 da. Right, let's put the, the dagger back on. And check out some of these. Okay, that's a whip. Wow, that's a terrible weapon. It's probably cursed. No, it's not. A white whip. Minus four to hit. Normal damage. Yeah, still pretty terrible. And this one is actually cursed. I knew it had to happen at some point. And I'm out of scrolls, right? Yep, of course. Welp, that was to be expected. Uh, I'm not going to accept the girl's quest now. Uh, how am I looking for money? Uh, not good. So I can't even buy food. I still have some food, though. Two rations. So I should definitely be able to... Wait, what? Oh, I'm already super hungry. That's not great. I should definitely be able to make it here. Yeah, that's actually not very far. So at least I can sell some stuff. Uh, I'm not in a great situation here. Let's be honest. Um, Where's that guy? An assassin. Friendly, though. Well, good for me. Um... Let's drop some stuff. Uh, a regular robe for one. Yeah, that's to be expected. Clean robe, though. That's worth something, right? Two gold. Wow, awesome. Uh, I mean, I guess I could try putting it on. No. Let's see if I get any better prices. No. Um, right. Let's see. Uh, clean robe. Wait, no, that's that's not even... No, no, never mind. It is a appearance, okay. Thought for a second there I was being stupid again and confusing uh, PE for personality, but no, it's AP. Mm, yeah, let's not sell the Elven Chainmail. Although, just out of curiosity, that would be worth 18? Are you kidding me? The thing is amazing. What a ripoff. I mean, I know he's this particular shopkeeper is giving you a terrible, terrible prices for everything. But oh well, 
What can you do? It's the only one you have access to early on. Uh, well, this is... yeah. I guess armor in general is hardly ever worth it. Weapons should be better. Except the ones I have, of course, are terrible. Uh, yeah, let's sell one of the shields. Two. Well. The gauntlets. For one gold. Wow. I, I mean, I didn't get... Uh, are the deals I, I got that one time I did shopping here before, I think on my red lane character, uh, weren't this terrible, right? Or maybe they were. Yeah, whatever. Just get rid of the stuff. You know, I am getting some money, but it's not going to be enough to buy anything. Unfortunately, so I, I'm going to have to, to deal with this uh, terrible cursed weapon until I find a scroll of remove curse. I mean, I really should have just carried this stuff around with me until I uh, at least knew it was cursed or not cursed. That's common sense. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna hold on to my short sword. One, one money for for a spear. Oh well. <sighs> Is that all? No, it's not. Oh yes. And that gave me like 20 gold or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't, also don't think the robe is doing anything for me. Well, at least my armor is still pretty good. Drop. Clean robe. Yeah, whatever. And I think that's pretty much it. Yes. Welp, I mean, just out of curiosity, we do have a scroll of identify here for, yeah, 4,500 gold. Cure blindness, I guess, is, is okay. No, I don't want to attack the freaking shopkeeper. Leave me alone. I just want to leave this place. Uh, save backup copy, okay, sure. Well, that was great. Uh, evade, please. Of course not. Well, it's only orcs. And I should be able to run away like this. I could probably kill them. Should I do it, though? I mean... Well, I can... I don't know if I can uh, f still flee if they're right next to me, though. Okay, good. Well, I... Should make sure I have some food at least. Yeah, I'm getting hungry again. That's not great. You the girl? No, it's a, just some random child. Go away. Oh wait, that's a girl. Slightly different tinge of orange. Yes. Wait, what? Uh, no. Did I already pick up the quest? Oh. I... okay. thought there was supposed to be more dialogue before that. Let's see here. Uh, melon. A piece of dry meat. Okay, so this is a blessed, a blessed large ration. This is a cursed one. Um, another cursed one. Iron ration, yeah, that's that's expensive. I guess I might, might as well blow all my money on on food right now. Might as well get the uh, the blessed one. Grab this piece of dry meat, thirty-two. Hmm. I can't afford three of these, right? Um. Can I just pay for everything? I guess not. Yeah. Oops. This is really unnecessarily cumbersome, I feel. I don't have that much money, though. What? I thought so. I thought I did. Didn't I? Well. Uh, okay, let's drop one of them. There we go. Oh, 
All right, let's see if we can kind of speed run the puppy cave. If we can even make it through with our weapon, that's um, quarter staff. Yeah, wonderful. So what I really need right now is uh, actually this. I don't even need to be carrying around leather armor. Well, I still killed it uh, with my offhand weapon, crude knife. You know what? Yeah, this is the end level. Okay. Oh, I'm still cowardly too. Surprised I, I even managed to, to kill that orc before. Yeah, let's go normal. Okay. Okay. There's a knife's improved. We also found a ration. Gonna wait before I eat though. Oh, we actually have some money. And we have a scroll. It disappears. Wow, okay, I did not know that was a thing. That sucks. Alright, let's eat one of my normal large rations. Or actually, I'm not sure. I couldn't tell if the one I picked up was also blessed and thus stacked with the blessed one, or if it was normal and stacked with the normal one. Um, all right. Anyway, four more points of athletics. Probably not worth it. I'm gonna finally get some alertness though. Some dodging had pretty good potential, although the roll wasn't good. Hmm, fruit preservation, I suppose I could pick that. Uh, no, I definitely need more healing. Sooner or later. Uh, and more literacy, I guess. Apparently. My looks improve. Yay. Onyx ring. <laughs> I mean, I could put that on. On the off chance that it does something good. I can't take it off, so at least it's not cursed. That doesn't mean it's good. Okay, I'm not sure if I tr tried taking off the bone amulet. Also, messages? Grinding stone, yeah, of course. So the ants are coming. That's actually a bit of a problem. If they're in between me and the stairs, I might just be screwed. Huh. Which way? I'm gonna stick to the right side of the map first. Oh, and this is not it. I'm getting hungry again. Okay, there are the ants. Dang, this is not going to work out for me. I don't know if they're still coming. Okay, now they are. Yo, dog. Or wolf. Okay, well, I'm taking damage here. Um, actually, I'm taking way too much damage. Wonderful. Of course the ant followed me. But it's only a single one. And I can lose it now if I want to. I didn't even deal any damage with that. Man, this sucks. So the dog is just dead. There's no way. I'm gonna quickly dive in here and try to regen a little bit. Hey, whips leveled up. Okay. And there's the end. Berserk. Oh, okay. Maybe that's the way to go. Hmm. Might be.
Right. Okay, let's eat, I don't know, this ration, I suppose. Giant and warrior corpse. I don't think ants are good to eat, though. Yeah, no. Oh, I'm hungry again. That sucks. Yeah, that was stupid. Okay. Um. Okay. Yes, I got hit, but... Since strange vibrations. Huh. Okay, well, Berserk is working out so far. And you should really not be running around in Berserk mode. Let alone fight multiple enemies in Berserk mode. But honestly, they have. They still have a lot of trouble hitting me. Small shield. Sure. But at least I can kill them pretty quickly. Okay, I got hit. Slightly wounded. I miss, I hit, moderately wounded. She hits me, I'm down to 12. Okay, that's not great. Should I, should I pray for healing? Well, first of all, I should switch to coward. I could just run away, but that's not going to help me in the long run. I mean, the, still, the dog is probably already dead from all the waiting I did. But at least I want to... Uh, fully explore this cave, if nothing else. Okay, I'm healed. Thing is, I think I need to go berserk to to be able to kill the end at all. What? Oh, was I still stunned? Severely wounded, critically wounded, so one more hit and she is dead. Okay, good. Nice, and she didn't manage to hit me uh, another time. That's great. Lumps of clay, yeah. Oh, okay. Still ants left, though. Okay, good. Surprised I didn't level up from those ants. I mean, they're pretty high-level enemies. Relatively speaking. Okay, there we go. Get some money from that one. Nice. Uh, oh, that's just whip skill. Okay. I'm really surprised I'm not taking a lot more damage for being in berserk mode. Um, well, huh. they've, they've done us, uh, they've sure done a lot of burrowing around here. Clothes, gauntlets, shell armor. Wow, okay. That's super heavy, though. Hmm. Agate ring. Hello. More rocks. They're all, do they all combine with with what I already have? Uh, no. Hmm, interesting. So I, I guess there must be different levels of enchantment. Uh, I'm going to put on that agate ring, because I'm still not smart. Also not cursed. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe some of them aren't even magical. Maybe they're just pretty. Nothing to pick up. Oh, that's the crumpled hole in the ground. I guess I pick, tried picking that up <laughs> a couple of times already. Uh, I'm going to pick up that shell armor, even though it's really heavy. Rock with metal veins. Oh, okay. I mean, that's some ore, obviously. Huh. Already strained. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm uh, being strained makes you hungry faster, I think. Okay, maybe I should just drop all these rocks I'm carrying around. Oh, now I'm only burdened. I'd like some enemy. I 
actually, that was not very smart. Uh, I should have. I know these these are one d four rocks. <clears throat> so let's go for that big stack. They're probably, I don't know, worse. Oh, that was a one shot kill. They're also one d four. Okay, so. Yeah, now I have 44 of those. <laughs> Obviously, I don't need that many rocks. But these uh, other stacks must be must all be different then. Huh. Oops. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Oops. Okay, so that's uh, plus three. Plus three plus three. Wow, that's those are some good rocks. Uh, actually, I might just test the rest of my rocks. And keep the one, keep the stack of good rocks. Listening increased. Okay, cool. Yeah, so these are really good. Let's see about that stack next. And actually drop, whoops, actually drop the uh, giant stack of rocks. I mean, it would be nice to have that many projectiles. But they're also weighing me down a lot. And ultimately, I don't want to focus on throwing things. I want to focus on shooting things with my bow. Assuming I will survive for any amount of time. Which is still not guaranteed. Okay, so, yeah, those are terrible. Let's try... Whoops, uh, try that one next. Those are also pretty terrible in a different way. And last but not least, missed me. Can I please gain some distance? There we go. Hmm. Okay, they are just regular. Wait, aren't they the same as that other big stack of rocks, though? I guess they were just weren't identified, so I, I didn't know. All right, that's okay. So let's equip. The good rocks. Actually, let's just kill the slave master. Level six. Uh, what? I'm now especially good at survival in the wilderness. Immune to all negative weather effects. Okay, cool. Uh, yes, athletics. Pretty good growth. Um, healing has tons of potential. Uh, two weapon combat. Sure. Actually, uh, yeah, let's almost max that out, and we get another tell. <laughs> I mean, I could go for whip proficiency, but I'm not planning to actually keep using this any longer than I need to. Uh, do I go for even more speed? I guess so. Being able to outrun things is just so useful. And even though I'm burdened right now, I still have one f 115 speed, which makes me faster than most most enemies. That's really good. Okay, let's drop all the bad rocks. Like J. Yes, all of them, please. Is there? Can I just say all of them? Yeah, okay. I don't even have to specify. Um, and K. And. Oh, rock with metal veins is, counts as a tool? What? Hmm. I'm not sure how that makes sense. Uh, four regular rocks, actually, yes. We have this, this armor. I mean, shell armor shouldn't be metal, right? Uh, assuming it's actually made of some kind of creature shell, it's probably not better than what I'm using. But I'm intrigued by the concept. I also have a small shield. <laughs> but I'm not going to switch out my, my dagger for anything right now. Uh, just on the off chance that the shield's cursed. The dagger is really what's saving me right now. What I'm doing all the killing with. Mm, right, so we have some ore chunks. Violet potion. Um, right, the armor. I mean, it's probably also a, a bad idea. I mean, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm going to wait until I hopefully get some kind of pseudo-identification going on. So at least I know whether the stuff is cursed or not. I'm 
Okay, if you say so. A longbow. Uh, yes. That, on the other hand, might be pretty good. Okay, we found the stairs. Several items. Yes, bones and a corpse. Let's try eating the corpse. Certain tension. So there's probably another... Or actually definitely another layer on this level. Okay. Metal girdle. Yeah, unfortunately won't be able to use that. Although technically you don't wear the girdle on your on your skin. I mean I typically don't. So there should be whatever armor or pants we're wearing in between our uh, our sensitive mist elf skin and the hurtful metal. Hmm. Those dead end corridors there Yeah I know, I feel the tension. Uh, those dead end corridors seem a bit fishy to me. Tambourine. Um, yeah, I guess. Might be worth something. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat a chieftain corpse or cobalt corpse, actually. Uh, what are you? Several items? Quarrels and a speckled potion. Well, not really interested in the quarrels. Thank you, though. Still kind of looking for the stairs, although I'm like 99% sure the dog is already dead. Whip, <laughs> yeah, thanks. I got all the whips I'll ever need. I guess the the one lesson I might have learned, hello goblins. Um, and I'm not, not saying I did learn a lesson, but if I learned any kind of lesson from this run. Uh, then it's... if you're going to check out a weapon that you don't know whether it's cursed or not, at least make sure it's a weapon type that you're comfortable uh, being stuck with, <laughs> in case it is. I mean, I didn't know that whips are this terrible, and they might not all be, but their base damage is pretty, pretty abysmal already, and, you know, at least this one doesn't have a minus damage, so if I do manage to hit, at least I deal some damage, but it's not great. Okay, eat the goblin corpse, uh, grab the gold pieces, and whatever they dropped here. Or not, actually. Gauntlets, robe, not really interested. Have more rocks. I mean, some of them could be the same as the ones we're using, unlikely as it may be. But if we could get some more of those, that would be better. So, let's see. Ten rocks? Very unlikely to be exactly the same. Uh, what the hell is a kushu? I mean, let's find out, I guess. Uh, more. Standing roughly three feet high? Not very high. This elegant canine moves with a delicate grace, belying its fierce power. Its bright fur is loosely curled, giving it a somewhat pampered appearance. However, its strength and cunning lend it an aura of confidence and deadliness. Kushus seem to have a DV of 16, PV of 2, an average speed of 104. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's a real world animal. I, presumably it is. I don't think I ever heard. Don't think I ever heard that name before. Although it might be called something else in English than it is in uh, in German. Oops. Hello, pixie, appearing out of nowhere. Um, okay, I guess I need to berserk to kill you. Sorry. I'm not sure why the pixie was fighting me in the first place. It had a lot of money, though, so I appreciate it. Okay, we also need to find the secret room. There might be one here, but there might also be one at the end of that little dead-end corridor. Another agate ring. Okay, cool. Ouch. I mean, there's, yeah, definitely a door here, and there's the stairs. 
Well, okay, this is the cave level, the penultimate one. Healing increased by plus five. Wow, and listening by plus two. Okay. Yeah, I really don't understand <laughs> how these uh, random skill ups happen. Because I've seen them happen in in batches more than once. We got two violet potions. Those could be simple healing potions then. Okay. Let's fight the enemies if they want to fight me at all. Maybe maybe they don't want to. Heavy club, eh. Home monculus, homunculus. Uh, are you a freaking minotaur again? You are. He doesn't care about me yet. Does he now? Um, I wish there was an easy way to tell when enemies turn aggressive. This is lumps of clay. Okay. Uh, yeah. I feel excited. Really? Does that mean this is a good floor for a change? That's the the cute dog. I don't. I have no idea how I made it in time. Can I chat with you? Woof. Okay, that's cute. Uh, can I? Is there something I need to do to make him follow me, or does he just follow me now? Oh, he seems to be following me. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. I also heard that he's that he really likes to get himself into danger. Karmic lizard. Um, okay. Oh, that the lizard was changing colors. I, I literally thought there were several multicolored lizards. Uh, can I? No, that's that's fine. Can you please just? <sighs> I'm blinded by the light. Yes, yes. I'm standing where the door is now. Okay, good. The dog was not hurt by the explosion. That's what I was worried about. Rattling Fencer is dead. I really should not be here. I mean, I can't just back out of this place. What are you? It's a centipede, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's a... Uh, okay. I completely forgot that I was checking rocks. So I don't need those. And, um. Didn't I pick up more. unidentified rocks? Oh no, they just got combined into one. Okay, never mind. So I'm gonna go back to the good ones. And drop. the bad ones, or regular ones. Oops. Um. Love them. Yes. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to risk any more. Jekyll wear. Now please slay it, thanks. And eat that. Uh what? Oh. Oh. I should probably not eat wear creature corpses. That was not a wise move, wasn't it? I'm s oh I'm sick, okay. Never mind. Um, the dog follows me, that's cool. Um, Minotaur? Okay, cool. Um, nice. Finally, my throwing skill went up. Uh. Wow. Holy shit. Okay, I need to pray. Remains unheard! No, I'm dead! What? <laughs> No! The first time a freaking prayer failed. I mean, without having exhausted my my deities, my deities' uh, patience. Oh, oh no, this was going so well. I actually managed to to get to the cute dog despite all that, all the shenanigans, all the whip and other other things related shenanigans. Oh man, such a letdown. I guess on the plus side, this run ended just in time for a one-hour episode, so yay. Oh well, 4,000 points.
Level 6. Three days. <laughs> I mean, he survived for 8,499 years. Three days, 11 hours, 20 minutes, and 15 seconds. Only to perish in some random little cave trying to save a puppy. <sighs> oh, well. Well, strength did go up. I didn't even notice when that happened, I guess. So that's nice. Willpower went up, toughness went up, appearance went up. Huh. A dangerous cave at the Dracolor Pass. Yeah, I guess. I mean, the puppy cave, unassuming as it might may look, is somewhat dangerous early on, but... Well, if I hadn't accidentally equipped that cursed whip, or not accidentally, if I hadn't stupidly equipped that, that cursed whip, um, I would have had a better chance. But ultimately what killed me was not related to my weaponry at all. It was just that fire lizard that dealt 20 fire damage in one blow. And then my my god saying screw you when I needed him most. I mean I guess it, it was the, the second time. So the first time might be might be guaranteed and always heal you. The second time apparently obviously can't sha can fail and after that it's just uh I don't know. I've, I haven't seen it work, work a third time so far. Although I assume there must be ways to restore your your um, your God's favor in some way. Anyway, 156 monsters perished under my attacks. Um, right, cold resistant, acid resistant. Oh, okay, cool. Cold resistant through an item. Uh, wait, is there? Uh, maybe that was a way to to look at my equipment. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I can go back anymore. Okay, well, hey, that that was enough for another sixth place. I think replacing the one I, uh, the the ranger I was playing before that, twenty-eight. Yeah, that might maybe might be exactly the one. Killed by a fire lizard. Well, now I know fire lizards are to be avoided like the devil. Well, okay, that's going to be it for this episode, I guess. As I said, perfect length, so the game knew exactly what I needed. Um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.